so welcome back again in this part two we will continue by blocking in our uh, the windows and the doors okay so I think that will be fast to do so what we need to do is I'm just going to increase the transparency on this our uh, structure again I'm just gonna go to the attribute editor here and just increase that transparency so if you haven't watched the the first part I think you should do that okay so what we need to do is and let's try to start going through by to uh, try to define the the width of all these our doors and windows and since we are working with rescale so it's gonna be easy for us to do because the floor plan already has those all those spaces defined so what we need to do now is to try to start blocking in all this adding these eight loops around there so just like that so we are going to continue to add all these edges at these eight loops and I'm pressing control and clicking using this multi cut tool and once you do that you can see it begins to add all these lines these edge loops around okay so let's continue to to do that control and click So I'm just going to go through all around here, few more to go, just like so, this one, okay, I think we have completed, so what we need to do is I'm gonna reduce that transparency again and what I can do right now is to add the heights to define the heights so our reference is here so if you look at the reference here I can see that this our dot here is like 2.5 and we have like I don't know what they call here is a beam or pavement or something so let's add that just define that base and also this height here okay so let's do that let's do it from the side view here we can select it get our multi cut tool and we can just click and drag so we have defined that one and also if you just click like this you will only affect only the outside walls like that you will not be able to get it across inside here because we have two faces okay so make sure you don't just right click uh, control click and do it like that it's not gonna work so let us delete undo that that we added we have to sh select it shift and drag it like that okay so um, let's continue so now we've added the define the height of the of the um, the doors and windows what we need to do now is to st start uh, deleting all these faces that are there so if you click like this to delete is not gonna as affect this one so what you need to do is you need to click and drag a little bit so you can select both of them and then you can just press delete so let's do this one delete to see need to remember that one so we have one right here let me check 
you see you need to click and drag let's why it's not clicking let me see click that one and click this one you delete it this one as well I wonder why it's not selecting but you can click it like that and select it one by one and delete maybe this one click and click here delete okay and we have this one right there just click select it one by one delete this one and that one just delete it so for now i'm gonna be skipping this one right here and this one i will come back to it i think probably this one and this two right here but for this one let me just click and delete it this one i'll be skipping for now so this one and that one just delete and also i will skip this one so what we need to do is when we look at our reference you can see we have some short windows not all of them are very tall like this so we need to define those ones because you can see they are a lot higher from the floor so let us add that one so we go back to the side view right here and then we can go back to our multi cut tool and we can just click and drag like that so it has defined that wall for us okay so what we need to do is here we come back here and now we can begin to add um this one click that and delete it and for this one we click and click on this one delete it and let's click on this two right here delete it and this one uh, and this one right here let me see if i'm on face mode i think i'm on a face mode right now let's try it again okay i think the reason because i was not in a face mode that was why it wasn't selecting so uh, i think we've completed uh opening the spaces for the I think we have oh this one right here delete okay so i think this we have completed oh sorry we have this one and this one right here we, we delete it okay so now what we need to do is now that we have deleted all that we now have created these holes inside here so it's not gonna be like this we need to close it so it's gonna form the thickness of our wall okay so to do that there are different ways you can do it for example we can click on this two right here just select it and hold your shift right click and we can fill hole oh sorry that filled the other side so we can let me try it like this one no it didn't work like that well we can bridge it just come here and click on this bridge and it can create that wall it can close it right there but the way i like to do it most of the time is to use a pen polygon tool which you can find right here a pen polygon tool so what the way it works is if you click on this one it will create uh, a pink edge around all the empty holes that we can be able to fill so if you click then it will fill that 
so we continue to fill the the holes so what we need to do like don't forget the top one i think i can just let me isolate this uh, this structure here so you press g and you click on here press g again make sure that you are clicking the corresponding uh, edge if not you're gonna have some issues so i think that one is completed you can see now we have created the right thickness for this for this wall so let's do this one press g g again you can see it's quite easy to do it's just a repetitive uh, process okay so don't forget this one right here and we continue to do that i probably have to pause the video and finish it up and then i will be back when the whole thing is completed you can see what i told you i click on the wrong side and now you see what i get so what you need to do now is you just undo that and press g again to repeat that press g this one g again see i have that same problem here so undo it g to repeat the last command so if you are following along you can just uh, fill the holes and then we will come back and move on to the next probably the the top of the building so let me pause the video and finish up the whole fill the whole all of them and then i'll be right back stick around while i do all that okay so i have completed adding all the edges so i'm just checking to make sure i have i think i missed one right here so let me just fill in that one and then i check again like so to make sure everything is done okay so i think everything is completed i think this is fine right now so what we need to do now is let's bring back our so what we need to do right now is let me delete history so what we need to do now is uh we probably you can see this edge is right here you can see some it's not so sharp it has some bevel around them so let's add those bevels so as this is selected let me save that and we just need to go to click on bevel and i think that has added the bevels so we can just increase the segment to like four and that will be it okay so we have the bevels done so what we need to do now is probably start adding the let's do this this rooftop right here okay so let us do that by let's delete history so we get that to disappear so let's create a cube and just bring it right there we just need to increase it like so and make it this way 
let's go to the top view because this is and probably increase the transparency again so we can see what we are doing so we can click you can see these dotted lines in our plan is actually represent that this roof right here so what we can do is just match it exactly the same this is why when doing uh, buildings like this is very important that you have a very clear plan handy so you can just follow it so we can just do that one right there and for this one we can just add our edge loop right here control click and then let's go to the perspective view and we select that one that face sorry I think we select the face this face right here and we can extrude it and just let's match it right here okay so let's get rid of the transparency again we don't need it so we come to the side view right here and we can just make sure we have it just like that and for this one i'm going to reduce it it's probably too big maybe do it something like that probably 0.660 cm so uh what we can do is when you look at this reference you can see we have that top part right there okay so let's do that so we get our multi cut tool again and we just click on that and again click on something here so for this we will i just select the face and double click it selects around or all, all around so we can just extrude it right in so we click on this one and extrude into the negative let me see okay something like just very small will be okay maybe something like five so what we can do now is also add the bevel to it so we have all our bevel consistent around and we also need to increase the segment like that so maybe we don't need this top face because we are not gonna see it delete it and let's see what we have here so i think we are getting there see we will try to match our our um our scene with this our reference image let's do that uh maybe something like this will be fine maybe first of all let me set my i think my focal length is 38 i think 38 is fine actually for this kind of maybe make it 40 i think okay so what we can do now let me uh, put my resolution gate i think this gray area is too much so to do for you we can increase it a little bit just click on that and come to i think display options and over scan here we can make it something like 0 1.07 so this is fine so let's uh just set our okay our camera it's something like this okay i think this is fine so what we can do is let me bring it closer maybe 
something like this is okay so what we can do now is we can bookmark this we just click on new bookmark and maybe add it to the chef right here okay so is is there something wrong with Maya sometimes it doesn't show but it's there if you, for example if you go like that and we click on it and it's back there and actually one way I found to get bring that thing is for example I can click on maybe add something there and that one will come so let's okay so uh, I think for now we can leave we can end it here and come back to the next lesson and begin to add some of, some other things like these frames or maybe these pipes and begin to add those details that will begin to probably see what we can do around this area you know so something and some of this pavement here that we didn't add all these tiny details will actually bring our uh, our building to life okay so we come into the next lesson and we continue to improve it until we get to the final one so thank you for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next lesson bye bye